Hey guys, this is Ian Golden and I'm here in the brand new DJ Tech Tools office. Today I'm very excited to show you my personal mapping for the MIDI Fighter and Tractor Pro. The MIDI Fighter platform allows you to pick out your own button colors and arrange them in the order you see fit. I've actually arranged mine to match this mapping. On the bottom row, I've got cue points 1 through 4, then cue points 5 through 8, record, 3 effects, shift, sync, pause, and play. So without much further ado, let's dive right in and show you how to use it. The MIDI Fighter can be used as a full deck controller to play songs and trigger new tracks. In this mapping, the MIDI Fighter always controls the focus deck. You can change focus with the mouse, but to set up the appropriate effects, you should always use Shift plus Play to select the deck you want to control. First, press Sync to match the tempo of the deck you're controlling to the master deck. Then cue up the track and hit Play to start playback when you're ready. If the timing is off, use Shift plus Q or Sync to pitch bend the track. Press the beat repeat button to create a fill, and then add the dedicated filter button to modulate it. To drop a loop, you might press record. Now stop playback of the DAC, and the loop continues to play. To edit the loop, press shift plus record, and the eight cue points are now rejuggling the loop slice pattern. At any time, you can add echo to the deck or a loop by turning on the dedicated echo button. To turn off the loop with a nice fade out, just press record. In their natural state, the bottom eight buttons of the MIDI fighter are dedicated to cue points. Press any open button to store a cue point, then press shift plus the button to delete that point. Cue points can be re-triggered with play on, or sampled with play off. When sampling, add an echo to fill the gaps and work in the beat masher or the filter to modulate sounds. With sync on, the cue point jumps will be quantized to the beat. And with sync off, you can play them with swing and rapid fire rhythms. At any time, press the record button, and Tractor will start recording eight counts of your juggle. Once finished, press shift plus record to re-slice that pattern. So that's my mapping for the MIDI Fighter and Tractor Pro. I hope you like it. You can download it for free at djtechtools.com and you can also get all the MP3s that I used in this video.